Okay, welcome to Jack. To get the ball rolling, why don't you pick which game you want to play? And we'll get you a new pair. This is your friend music. Oh, no, look at... Where's old man? He's been licking the top of the donuts. I wasn't even near All right. Now, I got a trivia question. How many people are playing the game? Enough. Uh, player one, type your name in. All right. Player two, we need your name next. Very good. Player three, you know the drill. Super. Player one, you have the letter Q as in Quintus. Player two, your buzzer is the letter B as in bandwidth. And player three, your buzzer is P, as in prime rib. Yeah, that ain't my job description. Okay, listen up. You're going to get a bunch of questions. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. Then type a one, two, three, or four, whichever answer you want. Or if it's fill in the blank, just type in the answer. Ten, Good luck to you. Nine, Get rid of the eight, desktop, please. Seven, okay, we're six, rolling. Five, five, four, left. four, three. Dessert is served. Acrophobia, the hilarious word game that puts your creativity on the line. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. How you doing? Welcome to the show. All right, first I need to pass out some screws. Here you go, three contestants, three screws. Okay, word on the screws. If you get to a question that you know your neighbor doesn't have the answer to, show no mercy. Buzz in, hit the S key, and screw them. Believe me, it's fun. Okay, you ready to go? Let's do it. Give me a category. Question number one. We're calling this one. You go, girl. $3,000 for this one. Eyes forward, we're going. Which of the following is an anagram for panty liner? It ain't fine. Oh, yes, player one. In lap entry is an anagram of panty liner. In lap exit is the reason to wear one. All right, this category. All right, player two and three, step aside, because player one's going on a dis or dat. <laughs> the category for this dis or dat is, does Michael Jordan really drive a blazer? All right, I'm going to read off seven items for you, and as each one comes up, I want you to tell me if it's an NBA team, a model of automobile, or both. As each one comes up, if it's an NBA team, press one. If it's a car, press two. Press three if it's both. And to skip it, press four. You get 500 bucks for each right answer, and you lose 500 for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, you got 30 seconds. You ready? Let's dance. Cavalier, is it a team, car, or boat? Piston. Pacer. Mustang. Hornet. Cougar. One more. Maverick. That'll do it. Perfect. And with time to spare, no less. Here you go. Congratulations. Let's move on. All right. I need a category. Answer question three. Let's see what we got going. That's a bunch of bullock. And this one's worth $2,000. Ready? Here's the question. If Sandra Bullock were to portray a bullock in her next movie... <laughs> Gotta answer it, player one. Sandra would be playing a castrated bull. <laughs> which is a great casting choice because not many actresses can bring the charm and wholesome girl next door quality to the part of a castrated bull. Which part? Well... Hey, player three, when you can't successfully screw someone else, you screw yourself. Time to pick a category. Hallelujah! Bow your hands and pray to four. 
Coming at you. Battle on, Xenon. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Flex those fingers, here it comes. If the producers of Xena decide to come out with a new show about Xenon, what would be the best player one? Yeah, baby. Yeah, and I bet there's going to be plenty of episodes in which Xenon almost kisses another odorless gas. That's the end of round one. We'll be back with round two right after these messages. To learn more about an advertiser, hit any key on your keyboard. We'll show you more information after you leave the game. Play poker online with other people live at www.2am.com. And hut! Play Janet Clan at 2am.com today, soldier! Welcome back! <laughs> Time to play round two, where the values are doubled. All right, y'all set? Here we go. All right, the category. Well, what do we have here? Hannibal Lecter's movie reviews. How does $4,000 grab you? And now, your question. Because it doesn't involve cannibalism, which of these... Player two, grab it! Eat, drink, man, woman involves eating and flesh, but not the eating of flesh. <laughs> so it would not be Hannibal's favorite movie. But he could always cheer himself up by munching on the arm of the guy next to him. Give me a category. We're a bunch of hits and we love the question shapes. Here we have to boldly go where key demographics want to go. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Ready? Catch this. If seven of nine from Star Trek Voyager translates her name to the appropriate ah! player one, divide seven by nine and you get 77,000 of a... 78%. <laughs> Try to divide seven of nine from her costume, though, and uh, you're going to get rubber burns. All right, I need a category. Seven lucky, lucky seven. This one's called Porter. I hardly knew her. I got $2,000, says you don't know this one. Okay, let's share. Have you ever gone sailing with that special someone and celebrated your romance at sea with a nice bottle of wine? Well then, if you enjoy your port wine on the port side of the boat, how about player three, have at it. Port wine is sweet red wine, and the port is the left side of the ship. <laughs> And if you're going to this much trouble to have a romantic evening, splurge and get the bottle with the twist-off cap. Time to pick the category. Two, four, six, eight. Question eight is jailbait. Go eight. Well, what do we have here? You're a royal screw-up, and this one's worth $4,000. Pencils ready. Let's do it. If your mom hires you a tutor, who will be helping you with your... Take a shot, player two. Henry VIII of England was a member of the Tudor family. I warned you that was the last time I'd tell you it is base time height divided by two. Off with his head! Alright, the category. Hey, stress cut with lime sore. It's time for a Snickerclish restroom. Let's see if you can make some sense out of this gibberish category. Armpit surgery. The opening value of this gibberish question is 10,000 bucks. Now check this out. As the time disappears, so does the money. So the sooner you buzz in, the better. Okay, tell me what phrase this rhymes with. Play two, go for it. Thank Yeah, don't you hate it when it rains outside? Unless, of course, it's raining men. In that case, I'll pull on a slicker, go outside, and get wet. That's the end of round two. We'll be right back with round three after this. Vote. 
wear the coolest clothes. Vote. Which national news anchor baby talks during commercial breaks? Vote. Democracy depends on you. Hugo? Yeah, Hugo Boss. The fragrance. The world is getting smaller. Smell better. Hugo. Welcome back. It's time to play round three. All right, kids, time to get your weapons. One screw apiece. That'll keep you busy. All right, if everybody's ready, let's do it. Give me a category. Ten fingers and ten toes. Would you like to have a cheap cigar? The category is, are we almost to hell yet? You want 6,000 bucks? Give me your right answer. Okay, this one's a fill in the blank, so buzz in and start typing when you think you know it. Let's imagine that Satan is taking his family on a nice little vacation. The dark angel of death and his minions... Oh, play one, son. Devil's Tower is in Wyoming. It's nice that the Devil family can go on a real vacation this year. The last vacation they took was just a long weekend at Rush Limbaugh's house. You know, the kids get bored. Time to pick a category. It's 11 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1. It's 11. For your enjoyment, chihuahuas are forever. Heads up, this one's going to be 6,000 bucks. All right, it's time again to hit the celebrity trash cans and find myself some nice souvenirs. Let's see what we got here. I think so. Oh, this is good. There's an old guitar, some tattered strips from Chico and the Man, a shivering chihuahua, and a few love boat crew. Player two, you gotta answer it. Share? No, I won't. Player one, player two, it's all yours, player one. The coochie coochie girl herself. Charo is the guitar playing actress with all the freaky little chihuahuas who played Aunt Charo on Chico and the Man. <laughs> But you probably remember her from her breast appearances on Love Boat. From her guest appearances. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, I need a category. Well, 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 let's delve into question 12. This category is known as, could they leave today, maybe? I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. Heads up, here it comes. If the Spice Girls are exiled to the Spice Islands, where will they be living? The Spice Islands, or the Moluccas as they are now known, make up part of Indonesia. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but the Spice Girls are really bugging the Moluccas out of me. Alright, pick a category. Look at the green! It's Dardine! For your viewing pleasure. Now that would have made school interesting. How does $2,000 sound? See what you can do with this one. Which of these propositions ends with a preposition? So how much would that cost me? I'm going to... Oh, you, player three. Prepositions are connecting words, like with or to. <laughs> and in my experience, propositions usually end with someone's hand connecting abruptly with my face. Yeah, never fails. Give me a category. Ain't no love like number 14. I believe this one is called, Someone Call the Health Department, and this one's going to be worth $6,000. Let's see how you handle this one. If you were to order a salad in for lunch, who might you find at... <laughs> Gotta answer it, player one. The most important leader of the crusade, Saladin, won several big victories and reclaimed Syria, Jerusalem, and Palestine for the Muslims. <laughs> Whatever, as long as they make sure to hold the Teutons. I mean, croutons. Nice work, player two. Looks like you're getting screwed. Let's see how you handle the hardware. All right, that's the end of round three. We're going to be right back with the Jack Attack.
Attack Attack. When you see two words on the screen that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, I'll give you 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, you're going down 2,000. But don't forget, remember the clue. Not any old word's gonna do it. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. It's like child's play. Now play nice, or I'll take your toys away. Got it. Hey, not bad, player one. You made short work out of players two and three. Next time, we'll see how you do against the living. Until then, I gotta tell you. You don't know, Jack! Howdy, kids. This is Peco Spucky here, telling you to tune in next week for another exciting episode of You Don't Know Jack for that show. Woohoo! <laughs> and they didn't even pay me to say this. Woohoo! That's a wrap, people. Let's get those commercials rolling. And, Cookie, are we doing this again or what? Hey, if you guys want to play again, just let me know, okay? All right. Oh, well, that's very disappointing. Okay, bye. Oh, yeah.